God damn it, bro. I am a little bit disappointed, bro. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not too surprised. I am disappointed because I wanted Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua to fight March 9th, I believe, bro. And they both had to win their fights. And Deontay Wilder already lost to Joseph Parker. A lot of people are over here saying that it was an upset, but I'm going to be completely honest with you, bro. I was going for Wilder, man. I've had a video that I've made that I said I think Deontay Wilder is going to win. But um, as far as saying upset, man, I don't think it was an upset, bro. The reason that I thought Deontay Wilder was going to win was the same reason most people thought Deontay Wilder was going to win. That he was going to catch him with that right hand and knock him out. But this is the problem, bro. Deontay Wilder depends so much on that right hand that it almost feels like he believes in his mind he doesn't need anything else but that right hand, I feel, bro. And um, it's starting to bite him in the butt a little bit, man, as the competition goes up a little bit. I think Deontay Wilder is a great dude, and I think Deontay Wilder is great for boxing, bro. But I am not going to call this an upset, dude. I mean, Deontay Wilder, realistically, he does not have a good jab. Um, he does not have good foot uh, footwork. Um, he he, he he doesn't throw um, great combinations. Like I said, bro, he just relies on that right hand. And I feel like Joseph Parker, bro, he pretty much won almost every single round in that fight, bro. It was a unanimous decision. And um, I, I can't believe after the fight, Deontay Wilder said that he thought he won the fight, bro. I got the punch stats over here that I actually pulled up, man. And um, total punches landed Wilder 39 to Parker's 89. Total thrown Wilder 204 to Parker's 255. Percentage landed Wilder 19% to Parker's 35%. Jabs landed 13 to Parker's 29. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, Wilder landed 12% of his jabs, bro. Power shots, Wilder landed 26. Parker landed 60, bro. I mean, bro, it, 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 it wasn't rocket science to see that Parker dominated this whole damn fight. He controlled the tempo of the fight he landed the most significant the more significant punches he landed more power shots he landed more jabs i mean in a boxing match you're supposed to hit the other dude more than he hits you and joseph parker hit this man in every way possible more than he hit him bro and that's just the bottom line man and i'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because i wanted that um i wanted that aj and wilder fight bad bro i wanted it bad but i'm gonna be honest with you guys bro i feel like Tyson Fury really did expose Wilder, bro. And if you are able to avoid that right hand, if you're able to avoid it, you could beat this dude, bro. You could beat him. And especially, let's not forget, he's almost 40 years old, man. And father time catches up to you, man. Um, especially in a sport like boxing. You're not going to have the same pop at 38 than you had at, at even 33, let's say, bro. You know what I'm saying? But to call this an upset outrageous um Deontay Wilder thinking he won outrageous once again bro I rock with Wilder I actually like Wilder but Joseph Parker content uh content Joseph Parker controlled this fight from the first to the last round and that's why he won a unanimous decision and that's why I am extremely pissed off we're not gonna get the Anthony Joshua fight happy holidays to everybody man it's your boy Armin Real Talk have a blessed and wonderful day. We out of here. Peace.